This is the story of a man who washes away the wrong. Xiong Zhi, also known as Song Ci, is a Chinese forensic medical scientist in Song Dynasty. He was born into a rich family in 1186 in Fujian Province. Xiong Zhi started to work for Chinese government when he was 40. At first, he was a local registrar in Jiangxi Province, and several riots happened in Jiangxi not long after he took office. So he took 300 soldiers with him and put down the revolts. Because of his talent in military, he was recommended to help the local government in Fujian to suppress the rebellion. According to historical records, when Song Zi was 51 years old, he started his work on forensic science, and he was promoted to be the presiding judge when he was 59. At the same year, he started to write his most famous book, Xi Yuan Ji Lu. Also known as the washing away of wrongs, in his book, Song Zi wrote regulation about autopsy report for court, how to protect the evidence in the examining process, as well as the reason why workers must show examination to the public. He also concluded methods on how to make antiseptic and to reappear the hidden injury from dead bodies and bones, how to wash dead body for examining the different reason of death. As well as how to calculate the death time according to the weather and excess of insects, the book also described how to distinguish between a drowning and a strangulation, along with other evidence from examining corpses and determine if a death was caused by murder, suicide, or an accident. The main purpose of this book was to be used as a guide for other investigators, so they could assess the scene of the crime effectively. At a time when coroners required no formalized training, his guidelines provided clear methods for conducting investigations. Song Zi's methods inspired many forensic scientists to identify homicides in new ways that were based on his discovery. His level of detail in explaining what he observed in all his cases laid down the fundamentals for modern forensic entomologists. And is the first recorded account in the history of someone using forensic entomology for judicial means. Song Zi was died in 1248, one year after he finished washing away of wrongs. There are two important rules he set for coroners. The first rule is evidence before confession. He always insists that it is necessary to find evidence even when the suspect already confessed. And if there are two wounds on a dead body, the coroner must find out is that caused by more than one suspect. If it is, then who should be responsible for the wound that caused the victim to die? The second one is that when deal with cases, the judge and the coroner must avoid arousing suspicion and let other people to take the case if they are relative of the suspect or victim. Seven hundred years after his death, forensic scientists are still benefit from his studies. The techniques he invented had helped countless number of people to get their justice and see the right criminal. If you are interested in the story of Song Zi, there is a novel called The Corpse Reader, and it is based on the personal experience of him.